This is Media Break. You give us three minutes, and we'll give you the world. Good morning. I'm Casey Wong with Jess Perkins. Top story, Pretoria. The threat of nuclear confrontation in South Africa escalated today when the ruling white military government of that besieged city-state unveiled a French-made neutron bomb and affirmed its willingness to use the three-megaton device as the city's last line of defense. And the president's first press conference from the Star Wars orbiting peace platform got off to a shaky start when power failed, causing a brief but harmless period of weightlessness for the visiting president and his staff. We'll be back in a moment. Is it time for that big operation? This may be the most important decision of your life. So come down and talk to one of our qualified surgeons. Here at the Family Heart Center, we feature the complete Jarvik line. Series 7 Sports Heart by Jensen. Yamaha, you pick the heart. Extended warranties, financing. Qualifies for health tax credit. And remember, we care. Three dead police officers, one critically injured. Police union leaders blame Omni Consumer Products, OCP, the firm which recently entered into a contract with the city to fund and run the Detroit Metropolitan Police Department. Dick Jones, Division President, OCP. Every policeman knows when he joins the force that there are certain inherent risks that come with the territory. Ask any cop, he'll tell you. If you can't stand the heat, you better stay out of the kitchen. Although seriously wounded, Officer Frank Fredrickson escaped and identified this man. Clarence Bodiker, unofficial crime boss of old Detroit, now sought in connection with the deaths of 31 police officers. Today he's at large, while doctors at Henry Ford Memorial Hospital fight to save the life of Officer Frank Fredrickson. Good luck, Frank.